going. Ladies and gentlemen, from the chemistry labs of other planet products, I give you Formica. It slices, it dices, it rides harder than anything else on the planet. Straight from your kitchen counter to your skateboard deck, it's Formica. <laughs> All right, Riley, so what's the latest development with our uh, nose guards? Latest development with nose guards is actually looking really good. We, uh, we're going to use dowels that are going to be an inch and an eighth in diameter for one and three quarters of an inch for the other. And I don't know if you can see this on the uh, template, but we're going to place them on the nose and tail of the skateboard deck where we tend to have the biggest problem in ply separation. And impacting. And, and impact. So not only does this provide strength for the wood to combine and join all the layers at the tip and tail, but also to integrate the aluminum that's also in the tip and tail of the skateboard that we're currently pressing. Yep. So it's basically making it stronger for the wood as well as integrating the aluminum. And I think once we get the bolt holes on for the skateboard trucks, it'll again act as another rivet to join all the layers and also um, bind that aluminum piece that's gonna be pressed into the uh, front and rear of the deck. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I think it's going to uh, increase the strength tenfold of the uh, tip and tail of the skateboard and also create a really, really sophisticated looking layout. Yeah. Sweet. Anything you'd like to add, David? I think we should see how much this could take. I think we should do some on-camera testing. Destructive this thing. testing? Yeah. And the uh, vice over there? Yeah. Want to grab a hammer? Riley grabbing his weapon. <laughs> Prepare for your battle. Choose your weapon wisely. I think the big waffle. Waffle? Not, not this one? This is... Aren't these called... Uh, what about this one, Riley? Oh, I thought that was a rubber mallet. <laughs> There's a rubber mount in front of it. Uh, isn't this called a framing hammer? Uh, yes, I believe it is. How are you going to hold on to it? So it doesn't... I don't know, I think it's a vice. Ah, I was actually going to use the anvil on the vice, is what I was thinking. Hold it with some pliers. Let me try this first. See what the screwdriver can do to this one. Wow. So it's tearing up the ply almost across the entire length of the piece. Yeah. And you attempted to do this with the other test piece that had the yes. dowels in it, right? And you were okay, only able so. to pull up a wow. quarter inch back. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you are looking yeah, at I can, I can get this near to indestructible. Within about half an inch of the dowel and I couldn't even force the screwdriver in further because the dowel was preventing the plies from separating. So yeah, big difference. All right, so are you preparing special inserts for the layup schedule to integrate the aluminum with yes. the plies? So we have eighth inch thick, 52, 56? 50, 52. 50, 52. Aluminum. Please. And the hip thing about 52, 50, or 50, 52 aluminum is that it has a high chromium content, which makes it very malleable, which means you can cold form it easily. The one downside with 5052 is that it cannot be heat treated, but 
it can be work hardened, which means you can beat the living piss out of it and it'll only make it stronger. Kind of like my sister. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here's the reason that geometry class is so important. We have, no, 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 I take that back. David, the master builder, has set the angle of the table saw at a 45 degree and has run a piece of the aluminum straight against that 45 degree angle using a nice big block to prevent it from getting dropped into the uh, slot for the whole for the saw blade comes out and he has actually machined a groove into the aluminum so that when we're gluing it into the rest of the plies in the skateboard deck it will actually accept glue along this tiny little groove to provide a better surface for it to adhere to the rest of the deck. More surface area. More surface area. So essentially he's created a tongue and groove on an eighth inch ply of wood. Yeah. As if as if he were putting together hardwood flooring in the gym in a gymnasium. David, you've outdone yourself yet again. Okay. Okay so we got his these are glued and then taped over. To hold these together. To hold it together so that it creates a wood, aluminum, wood piece that's and going to be laid up within the process of laying up the board. Mm -hmm. And if you look, there's actually tape between the two layers that are going to become a consumable insert in the layup of the skateboard. Yeah. And it's a it's a it's masking tape, so it's like a it's like a paper tape. And so the glue will actually go into this and so it's not a real problem for gluing. No, because it's actually going to become a matrix mm -hmm. with the glue and create more of a uh, like a fibrous content yes. within the glue. But we also have so the t the noses of the deck are going to be four and a quarter inches wide. If I left it, so we have we still have uh, four and a half inches that, of exposed untaped area. So, so that after means... everything is all cut out, the tape's cut out as well. So even though it's going to be glued in, it's actually going to be removed in the cutting yes. process when we cut the, the neck away. Very nice. Yes. And you've also put a, uh, a mechanical surface on it so that yes. there's actually deep gouges and a much rougher surface than the smooth aluminum so that it will accept the glue. Yes, and it accepts it really well. This is basically the same thing that laminate the back side of laminate uses mm -hmm. because whatever they use for the plastic or the formica is much too uh, smooth to accept yeah, any it's glue. -porous. It's non porous. So they actually put an artificial porous surface, which is what we've also done with the aluminum, mm -hmm. is put a mechanical porous surface on the aluminum. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Is it aluminum all the way around the circumference? Intergalactic. 
dowel was a little undersized for the hole, so we're using paper towel to sum up the difference. Provide a little bit of a matrix filler. That's what it would sound like if this were a real auto shop. But it's not. <laughs> That's what it would sound like if we had power tools. <laughs> we're just lucky to have electricity. But we're putting the finishing touches on the latest skateboard. Oh yes. The longer board from the future.